Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Wednesday, April 16th, around 7 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. A G4 geomagnetic storm has been observed and is currently ongoing. We are up and around KP8, coming in two stations there. Good chance for Aurora tonight, down into the low latitudes. Keep calm. It's boom time. Denver preparing for snow ahead of Easter weekend and snow in many regions to the north as wildfire risk is threatening millions in the southwest. Yeah, in fact, millions in the southwest are on alert for fire weather through the end of the week due to extreme or critical risks posed by warmer temperatures, high winds and low humidity. And evacuation orders have been issued as a wildfire burns in the pig. Pisgah National Forest in North Carolina. Are fighting that wildfire in McDowell County. Emergency management tells us teams are on Armstrong Creek Road off North Carolina 226A and Turkey Cove. Evacuations have been issued for all homes on Wild Acres Road near Little Switzerland. We're told the fire is estimated at 175 acres and 0% containment. <laughs> Well, there you have it. We've got evacuation orders in the Pisgah National Forest. Here is the full forecast. We've got snow in the northern Rockies and lower Great Lakes with critical fire weather in the southwest and southern plains. Moderate to heavy mountain snow and strong winds are expected across the northern Rockies with lake effect snow continuing downwind of the Great Lakes. Gusty winds and dry conditions will result in critical fire weather conditions in the southwest and southern plains Wednesday through Friday. Extremely critical fire weather conditions are expected Thursday in portions of New Mexico, where you can see the entire state under those red flag warnings. A quick look at the GFS, and you'll see that winter system moving down the Rockies over the next few days here Thursday and Friday into the Four Corners region, and it'll linger around here through Saturday as severe weather threats will pop up in the center of the U.S. ahead of uh, the snowstorm here on Saturday and move east through the weekend. Turkey's crops crippled by deep freeze as a cold snap persists in South Korea and China is getting blizzards. Let's talk about the crops in Turkey Turkey is facing a deepening agricultural crisis after record cold temperatures as low as minus 15 C, that's 5 Fahrenheit, swept the country. The coldest spring temps in three decades. The freeze is devastating crops, has triggered urgent government, action, government into action. A rare April snow blankets Portugal's peaks and a solid snow year across the U.S. Well, except for the South. Seismic update, take a look at this. We've got a moderate uptick on the Ring of Fire, especially up here in Alaska and the Aleutians, as well as the West Coast. We've got a large coronal hole about to face Earth, keeping a close eye here on the Rakianus Peninsula as small seismic, swar seismic swarms occur at each and every day as we're waiting for the next new eruption on the Rakianus Peninsula. And this is as northern lights ignite the sky after a rare double solar plasma filament eruption hitting Earth now. And more forecasts for tonight. Here are some of the pictures. Absolutely amazing coming in yesterday from the first half. That was the KP6 portion of the storm. And you can see here some amazing shots of Aurora. Take a look at that. Beautiful. And G4 geomagnetic storm conditions has been observed and that means we've hit KP8, yes, a college station now. KP8 for nine straight hours. Geomagnetic storming will continue, but the aurora is calming down because take a look at this. The BZ shifted south. That popped us up to G4 storm, and then it went back to the north. If this pushes back down south, that aurora will light up. So keep your eye on Discover Solar Wind if you're tracking the storm. A colossal squid has been captured on video in the deep sea for the first time. The mysterious creature was filmed in the ocean near Antarctica. Scientists documented the juvenile here, about 11 foot long, which could grow to more than 1,000 pounds. 
absolutely spooky and I can't blow up the video. It's like embedded. So there is Schmidt Ocean Institute scientists filming a juvenile colossal squid in its natural habitat. And there's a little shot right there of the squid in question. Pretty cool science coming out here. Scientists link mysterious Icelandic rocks back to the Little Ice Age and Rome's downfall. The unexpected discovery of Greenland rocks on Iceland hints that a centuries-long cold snap known as the Little Ice Age may have helped finish off the Western Roman Empire. Well, and there were icebergs moving from Greenland to Iceland depositing rocks. Pretty fantastic. These are the rocks in question that were found on the shores of Iceland, but in fact come from Greenland. And here's the paper. Greenlandic debris in Iceland likely tied to Bond Event 1, ice rafting in the Dark Ages. All the links will be below. A mysterious chamber beneath the Great Pyramids of Egypt could be the tomb of Jesus Christ, an expert suggests in a remarkable claim. There seems to be lots of remarkable claims coming out about the pyramids these days. I think everyone is just trying to get a piece of the action. Speaking of action, join us on both of our Rumble channels, Magnetic Reversal News and Oppenheimer Ranch Project. Uh, we just put up Cascadia Megathrust Earthquake and the Tsunami 324th Anniversary up on Magnetic Reversal News. So please support us over there. Follow us on Rumble at Magnetic Reversal News and check out the new video. Also, 6 p.m. tonight, we put up the Yuga Cycle on Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Cosmic Catastrophe Cycle, Binary Star System, as above, so below, for all premium users on Rumble. So if you're a premium content user, you'll be able to watch the newest offering on Oppenheimer Ranch Project. We would support, appreciate your support over there as well. As we've been saying, gold just going through the roof today, another all-time high. Looks like it got all the way up to 30 360 bucks and it's been climbing and climbing all year this is because people know fiat currency is coming to an end and if you want to hedge your bets the best way to do that is with transferring your ira to precious metals and you can do it with no penalty at gold co the industry leader from precious metal iras to direct purchases of gold and silver Requ request your free gold and silver kit 2025 just fill out your info. There is no obligation. Go to Diamond Loves Gold or click the link below. And that's a boom to knowledge. Please, ladies and gentlemen, hit the thumbs up and share this video. We really need your support. We'd like to see this channel grow. It helps with the algorithm. And be safe. We love you. And that is a boom. Mm -hmm.